my name is Amber LaRock and I am a staff writer with Emergency Vets USA as well as a licensed veterinary technician. Our goal at Emergency Vets USA is to educate readers on topics regarding their pet's health. So today we'll be discussing tracheal collapse in dogs and when it may be time to say goodbye to a dog with tracheal collapse. So before we discuss the details of a dog that may be struggling in their tracheal collapse condition, it's important to first understand the structure of the trachea and what tracheal collapse is in the first place. So we have a trachea, our dogs have a trachea, and basically what the trachea is, is a tube that offers a clear passageway of air to the lungs. So in dogs, the trachea is filled with rings of cartilage that offer the trachea its structure. In a dog with tracheal collapse, this basically just means that the rings of cartilage within the trachea weaken over time, they lose their strength. So when this happens, the trachea begins to flatten. And this will of course get worse and worse as the condition progresses. And this makes the trachea essentially flatten when a dog is trying to pass air to the lungs. And this can lead to respiratory distress and serious complications as a result. So if a dog does have tracheal collapse, there are some ways to manage the condition, lessen their symptoms, or even treat it with surgery. For example, some dogs benefit greatly from being on daily medications. This may be bronchodilators, antitussives, or even steroids. And there is a reparative surgery that offers structure to the trachea again, and it can greatly benefit dogs who have severe tracheal collapse. So tracheal collapse in dogs can not only lead to an immediate emergency if they're experiencing active respiratory distress, but it can lead to complications over time as well. Some signs that your dog may be struggling in their condition and that it may be time to discuss quality of life with your veterinarian is if a dog has already had significant impact to their heart and lungs and are experiencing complications as a result. If your dog is always experiencing respiratory distress, if they just are unable to exercise or become winded or worked up into respiratory distress anytime they're active, if they are lethargic, if they are experiencing a change in appetite or especially if they are no longer eating, or if they are having complications like secondary pneumonia to the impact that tracheal collapse causes. If your dog is experiencing any of these symptoms or conditions as a result of their tracheal collapse, they may be struggling in their condition and um, there may be ways to help them out of crisis, but it's always a good idea to just discuss your dog's case with your vet and it may be time to touch on quality of life. For a more in-depth review on tracheal collapse in dogs, especially if you are looking for details on treatment and management options, be sure to review the article that is attached to this video, but stay tuned to Emergency Vets USA for more topics on pet health.